Right, first of all, I give praises unto Yahweh, the true name of the Heavenly Father. Double praises unto the Mashiach, Yahshua, Yahmashiach, the Messiah, the Savior, the Son of God. Double praises unto the Ruach HaKodesh, which gives us this wisdom to understand Bible pro prophecy and this truth and opens our eyes up to the truth and gives us this wisdom to understand the Bible. All praises go to all three of them, Barak, Haba, Bisham. Blessed be he who comes in the name of Yahweh, blessed be his name. All praises go to all three of them. Now this is something that I see, and it doesn't really shock me to be honest, it really doesn't. We know this event ha has happened many, many times, so it's not really a shock that it happens again. Because we all know that America promotes Satanism because it's an anti-Christian. It's become an anti-Christian nation. So USA counter-protests. Protesters raise hell over Satanist Baph Baphomet statue. So again, the police basically start getting involved. They start getting involved. Saying, oh, let these people do have free speech. It's not free speech. Satanism is not a religion. It's not a religion. It is a satanic occult. Again, this woman just proves again. She's got a tattoo that says 666. And then looks like she's got the phoenix or some sort of owl thing. Again, openly admitting that they're a bunch of Satanists and sellouts. And again, America glorifies it's not really a shock. Again, because if you know anything about America, you know that it was founded on Luciferianism. We just get this again, so it's not a surprise. This happened last time. This happened, I think, a couple of years ago. I don't really know. I know it happened not quite a long ago. So again, this was the first... I think this was the first time or the second time that they did it. So again, they're just doing it again, again. And if you, this is what you got to understand as well. You see this here, right here. Not many people know what this means. This here is a torch. You ever wondered why the Baphomet has the torch? It connects to, and you ever wondered why America has the stat, with the Statue of Liberty, has the torch. Because it simulates Lucifer, simulates one that is enlightened. So again, I'm going to show that evidence as well about the Statue of Liberty and how it's all connected to this stuff. As we see this as well, Washington Monument. George Washington, which George Washington was a Freemason, again having an upside down cross, as above, so below. Notice that it's the same as the Baphomet. Again, George Washington was a puppet of the Illuminati. It's a fact that the Declaration of Independence was signed by about nearly 50, 50 Freemasons. Again, on Satanic Temple, they unveil it. Satanic Temple unveils, so they've been unveiling it over and over again. It's not a shark. It is not a shark at all. So in Detroit, again, there was one in Detroit. Now there's another one. Why are they letting these people put these monuments up? I wonder why. Why are they letting them doing it? Oh, that's right, because the government's behind it. They're a bunch of Luciferian Satanists. Again, this is this was the event. S Statue of Satan unveiled in Detroit. Again, these people have openly sold out. And this is what gets me with this world. This is what is a joke. People believe and go, oh, Satan doesn't exist, Satan doesn't exist, there's no such thing as Satan, Satan doesn't exist, it's a myth. Then why are these people worshipping Lucifer so much then? Again, these people just can't accept reality that 
America is a bunch of is run by a bunch of anti-Christ. It's run by a bunch of Zionist little puppets like Donald Trump because he's a puppet. Everyone thinks that he was going to change America, which was a joke. How anybody fell for that, I don't know. There's no making America great again. The only way to make it great again is if it repents and turns back to God. If it doesn't turn back to God, it's going to receive judgment. So again, we all know about this one, Vancouver. They did the same thing. Again, this is immature, really, really disgusting, vile. Now, if you've done this with anything else, now, again, you just see it disgusting, absolutely disgusting. It makes me sick. Again, absolute blasphemy. Again, another Baphomet, a fallen, now they're using a fallen angel. Again, in Detroit, that looks like a fallen angel. Again, Satanism is what all, again, these people work in numbers, eight. These people work in numbers. That's what you gotta understand with this world. They work in numbers. It's all part of the game. Again, it's all part of the the agenda. Half man, half goat, half woman. Again, the skull and bones, the snake, the planets. Again, Lucifer is known as the god of time. That's why they worship the planet. Saturn. It's all connected. These people are the most satanic people. They openly worship the image of the beast. Now again, if we confirm, we can, we add this to Bible scripture, and it says in Revelation, and they said they sh should make an image of the beast, that anyone that should not worship it should be killed. So again, the image of the beast is already here. It's called the devil, the Baphomet. The religion is Luciferianism. That's the religion which Luciferianism is connect connected to Judaism, which is an antichrist rejecting cult. Same as all the other religions. They're all connected. So again, Luciferian is the first religion, because Luciferianism is worship of the devil. So again, as we see, it's, it's the same thing. Washington, Baphomet, as above, so below. As above, so below. And again, this is all part of the racism agenda, because again, the people high up in the Illuminati are a bunch of racists. Black, white, similes, white and darkness. See how that both of them are apart. Again, it's all part of the divide and conquer, the racist agenda. Oh, black people should hate white people. It's all part of the agenda of divide and conquer because it's all part of the game of racism to create a war. That's all it's about. So again, it's all idolatry worship. Again, it's no, it's no different from this. It's no different at all. It's the same damn thing. And again, kids as well. So again, this they admit anyway. We already know this anyway. Satan is after your kids. We know that anyway. Again, it's no surprise because America did this before. Now they're doing it again. They flash this on. I think this is the Empire State Building, again, Caliph, which Caliph is known as the God of Destruction, again. And now if you confirm the Illuminati game card, again, it, if there's Illuminati game card with the Empire State Building, now we know that these satanic people want to take America down. That's why they're doing this. They want judgment to come to America. So again, they're worshipping fake gods. Idolatry. It's all connected. The Roman Catholic as well as part of it. They're all part of it. Don't buy into it. Again, this whore, really, that's what it is. It's a whore. 
again, people need to understand as well, Babylon is not America. It's Jerusalem. This is a fact. Go look it up. Because it said Babylon would control the world, would control the money. America didn't print the money. The Jew, the Zionists did. The Zionists create the money, their symbols all over the money, the satanic star. They control America and oppress everybody. They oppress the whole world. Whoever controls the money controls the world. So who controls the money? It ain't America. That's how um, Babylon has always been a wealthy place. So again, whoever controls the money, that's why everyone, what do you think that the uh, Satan's going to do? He's going to put the blame on somebody else. Yes, America is an abomination. There's no doubt about that. I'm not denying that one single bit, but Again, America is not the main source. It's Jerusalem which is the source of the problem. Because again, they push everything. They're the ones that control the media. They push their agendas onto the world. And then America bows down to the, the masters of the Zionist and fulfills their agendas. So again, this is the even more blasphemy that they promote. The Virgin Mary trumps over proud Lucifer. She shall crush thy head. This is absolutely blasphemous. It doesn't say this in the Bible. It doesn't say this. This is a mockery. This is another blasphemy. It's an absolute joke. As it says in the Bible, they shall make an image of the beast. Again, notice though he's got the angel fallen wings. Again, the bow in the hand, the crown on the head. People think that in Revelation, the, the white horse of the six seals is the Messiah. It isn't. It's the Antichrist that opposes himself, as it says, and he goes forth to conquer, to conquer. That, and he was given power to conquer the saints. It's the devil. So again, the, the image of the beast is already here. You need to wake up to reality. It's been here from day one. The, why do you think they're putting these statues all over the place? They'll, they'll start putting them all over the world next. And then they'll bring in the mark of the beast and say, right, if you don't worship this, this image here, you don't worship the devil, you're going to die. You think these people who create these statues for no reason at all? It's all part of the game. Again, satanic group. Anyone that doesn't worship this image will be will be killed when the devil comes. Again, because all these again has America lost a lost the generation race. It's turned way way away wealth away from God. Again, because it's all part of the agenda, the Zionists have destroyed America from the inside out, and the people in control are part of the game. Anyone that thinks that, oh, when you vote, that your votes even matter, needs a wake-up call. Again, it, you turn it on, you turn it like this, there you go. Satanic Baphomet star. Again, like I said, the Zionist star is on the back of the US dollar. They control the money. Look at the United Kingdom money. You'll see a pentagram on it. The pentagram is the, is the exact same star as the so-called Star of David, which is not the Star of David. It's the Star of Raphaim. It's the Star of the Devil. This is why the promoted movies, the beast, again, the image of the beast, the Baphomet, that's the image of the beast. Again, and he, he, he caused any that should not worship the image of the beast should be both killed. So again, anyone that doesn't worship this image is going to die. They'll kill you. Again, America was founded by a bunch of Luciferian occultists, Satanists. Again, the same garbage with this Zeus, 
Again, Zeus, as, ab as above, so below. The buff, no, so they're always wearing the buff from it clothing. Again, it's all connected. Zeus is a fake god. It's a, again, Zeus is connected to the planet Jupiter, which planet Jupiter doesn't even exist. And you notice here, what have we got? The fallen angel. It's all part of it. Zeus, again, Zeus is part of the agenda. It's a fake god. It's a so-called Greek god. It's fake. Again, America needs to wake right up, but again, they won't, will they? They won't wake up. They, they need to start supporting the Zionists, giving money every single day. Oh, let's give the Zionists money. Let's give Israel money. Israel is the ones that are pushing this garbage. They're the ones bringing the new world order in. And people would buy again. This is what they do. Again, Baphomet, 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 over and over again. The same garbage. They make themselves known with the signs and symbols. Freemasons, the, cha the, the chain, which simulates the chain breaking away from God. That's what it simulates. Again, the torch. That, that's how we know that, that's again, the Statue of Liberty, the... The torch is, that's what it simulates, connected to Lucifer, the worship of the devil. So, again, it's been proven for a fact that the people that made the Statue of Liberty, which is a, it's just a man in a drag, that's all it really is. It's not a woman, it's a man in a damn dress. It's a man in a dress that castrated himself. That's what it is. Again, they're all connected, occult. This is a mockery. This is a mockery of Revelation. As it says in Revelation, one of the horses, the horses of Apocalypse, with the scales in its hand. It's a mockery. That's what it is. It's a mockery of Jew. It's a mockery of the Bible. Again, this is an abomination. Kabbalah, Freemasonry, and occult meaning. The sun goddess, again, the woman, it was never a woman, it was a man. This is a man in drag. It ain't a, a woman. It's a man. It is a man. That's the biggest lie they've ever promoted. Oh, it's a woman. It's not a woman. It's a man. It's a man in drag. Again, the owl worship, the whole system... And symbols are all over the world. Again, Zeus, Baal, well, it's all connected. Baal, god of fire, god of the sea, god of war, it's all fake. There's only one god and it's called the Heavenly Father. Again, they mock the Ten Commandments. Ten Commandments mocking the Bible. Again, and America supports this because America is a joke. America has supported the the has supported Israel, as it says, "O oh, daughter, daughter of Babylon, how you sat afar and and has helped us." Again, America has helped the Zionist out, so America is going to suffer the same fate as the Zionists, because they've helped them out. They've helped them out. They support them every single year, and everyone's buying into the garbage. Oh, the Jews are chosen, God's chosen people. You can't say anything bad about them when the Messiah said in the Bible, ye are of your father the devil. He said, your father is Cain, which is the devil. Again, so it's no surprise we have churches of Satan, Antichrist, again the image of the devil, again it's all part of it, America supports this crap, and then as the cheat to say, oh we're still a Christian nation, no you're not a Christian nation, you, you turned your own back on God years ago, you have no right to call yourself a Christian nation anymore. You are an abomination nation, that's what you are. A complete harlot. 
you turn your back on God and you wonder why this drug Amer America is the way it is now. You took you took God out the schools and look what happened. You turn your back on God, as it says, if you turn your back on God, he'll turn his back on you and forget about you. And again, so as we see, it's nothing new, it's just all the same crap. And again, they even admit, they even said in this um, stupid, pathetic event, Hail Satan! Hail Satan! And then they, they basically had the satanic, satanic pentagram, then a cross and said, Oh, we support all religions, yeah, you support all false religions, that's what you do, you support the Judeo-Christianity, basically the Christianity that the Zionists have created, where, oh, lo love the devil and all that, hate, don't hate sin, it's again, it's all to dumb you down, God did not come on this earth to create a religion, Again, Lucifer loses in Spring, Texas. Again, so I guarantee if this ever happened in Canada, nothing, nothing, no protest would happen because Canada is a complete sellout nation. Again, God save America. God ain't going to save America. It's over. You've, you brought it on yourself. Okay, Supreme Court. Remove Ten Commandments. They won't remove it though. Again, notice Supreme Court. Who controls the Supreme Court? The Zionists. Again, this is what you got to wake up and realize. It's not the Americans doing this. It's the Zionists. They run everything. They control the scenes. As it says, our battle is not against flesh and blood, but spiritual wickedness in high places. These people that are in power of fallen angels and demons. Because again, in the times of Noah, basically the giants, if you read it, the giants were given, and I don't promote this book, but it says in the book of Enoch that the giants were, when they were destroyed, became, de became demonic spirits, and then had human bodies. So again, these people in power, like the 13 bloodlines of the Illuminati, are really just fallen angels in the flesh. That's all they are. You ever wonder why they're so wicked in the way they are? Because they're demons. I mean, honestly, it's a joke. And basically, the people that come along and say, say to these people, you're leading people to the lake of fire. Of course, the police go, oh, go away, go away. What a joke. What a joke. Again, this is what it's all about, clapping and clapping, and then they basically say, oh, oh, the, they basically say, oh, there's no such thing as Christian persecution. One of these, these people here say, oh, there's no such thing as Christian persecution. Yes, there is. It's all a mockery in a game. It's all part of the agenda, so they can send to Christians. That's all it's about. Again, that, the people that went out saying, oh, you're, you're, you're against God. It's all part of the agenda. So, again, Christians are hated. It's all part of it. It's all part of the agenda. Again, it's all connected. America is a sold-out nation. It's sold out, sold out to the devil. That's what it did. It's sold out to the devil. And this is what Satan has done. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. So all these Satanists that go around going, oh, this is great, this is great, I I'm serving the devil, hail Satan. This is where you're going. This is exactly where you're going. You're going the same place the devil's going. And it's believed, the reason why they show the old C and I all the time, it's believed that Lucifer is blind in one eye. Could be, could be a possibility, who knows? Who knows, because this is what they believe. Again, and this is what happened again, Oklahoma. Again, this is my body. This is my, again, the serpent. 
bite in its own tail. The serpent biting its own tail is a witchcraft symbol. Again, notice black and white. Again, notice how they dressed up like nuns. Because again, the Catholic Church is part of this agenda. The Catholic Church has been persecuting Christians for thousands of years. Same as the Zionists, the Jews. Again, all this is going to come back on these people. They think it's cool now. Oh, I'm, ser I'm serving Satan. I'm serving Satan. Is the Satanic Temple run by Jews? Yes, it is. It's time to wake up to that. Again, pyramid on his head. Again, throwing the devil horns up. Again, the Freemason pillars. The, the nation is not a Christian nation anymore. It's an abomination. The goat head, the pink. Again, the feminism. It's all part of it. Feminism and everything is a part of the agenda. And people need to start buying into it. And again, the Washington the Washington place notice how it looks like the Roman Catholics it looks like the Vatican because they're all connected again uh, of course but you speak out against this oh, oh this is hate this is hate no it's not hate Satanism is not a religion it's an antichrist occult well they want it accepted oh we want Satanism accepted we should have the right to express our religion. No, you shouldn't. It's not a religion. Satan has sacrificed children. It's not a religion. Luciferio. Again, there we go. The devil. The devil monasteries itself as a beautiful angel. As it says in the beginning of the Garden of Eden. Satan was the most beautiful angel. Satan's not going to come to you looking dead ugly. He's going to come looking like the most handsomest person ever. Like, exactly. Is Donald, this is how we know. Is Donald Trump handsome? No, he isn't. That's how you know. S Satan comes and will be, will be liked by everybody. He'll be liked by everyone. It's all part of the agenda, the Antichrist agenda. It's all part of it. These people are all part of it. And Donald Trump is just another little puppet. That anyone that thinks Donald Trump oh, isn't against, is against the Illuminati, then you need a big wake-up call. Again, more garbage. Again, and they promote, they promote all this, oh, America's the problem. Amer no, it isn't. If you actually wake up to reality, you'll know who the problem is. The ones that control the media is the Zionist Jews that would go, oh, we're innocent, we're innocent, we've been persecuted for thousands of years. It's a load of garbage. Everyone knows that the Holocaust was fake. Everyone knows it was fake. It's a load of garbage. The Holocaust never happened, and it's a lie. I don't care what anybody says, says about that. It, didn't, it never happened. It was fake. Again, we have here again the devil. We see the devil. We see back them in the ancient images. This is what the devil looks like. The Baphomet. He was cursed. Satan was cursed to look this way. Because he rebelled against God. As it says, you shall be cursed among all beasts of the earth. So again, Satan looks like, that's why we know the image of the beast is this. Again, it's all connected as well to the Catholic image of so-called Jesus Christ. I'll bring that up as well. Because people need to start following this image. People need to start worshipping this because this is not God. This is not God. This is a pagan image. This is not God at all. This is the devil in disguise. Again, they promote Jesus Christ who have long hair like some damn girl. When it says in the Bible that it's an abomination to have long hair. This is the devil. This is the devil. As I said, the devil comes disguising himself as some beautiful, handsome person. 
he ain't gonna come looking dead ugly. Again, notice the same hand sign, the devil, this is how we know, and people still buy into this crap and believe that, oh, this is the image of Jesus Christ. No, it isn't. It's not the image of Jesus. It's the image of the devil. It's the image of the devil. We can tell by the hand sign. And again, if you look at the mark of the beast in, in the original text that was written by one of the prophets in the Bible, he written it as X, I think it's X, S, C or something. Now what symbol is he throwing up? The X, part of the mark of the beast. Again, and if you actually look up Lucifer's real name, it's Lucius Christos. That's his real name. So again, portrays himself as Christ. Antichrist. That's his real name. That's the devil's real name. They fool people over and over again. This is not the image of God. This is an abomination. A heathen image. We don't know what God looks like. We don't know. It clearly said in the Bible not to make any engraving images of the things above or the things in heaven for I am God and I am a jealous God and will not bar, will not give my glory to any engraven image. Jesus Christ did not have long hair like a damn girl. It's a, a lie. They always thrown out this hand sign. Throwing this again, the stars around the head again is a mockery. The stars around the head, sim stars simulate fallen angels. That's what they simulate, fallen angels. That's why they've bombarded everybody with this image. Oh, oh, this is what Jesus looks like. No, he doesn't. He doesn't look like this at all. Jesus doesn't look like this. What, where does it say in the Bible that he has hair like a girl? Nowhere. It's the devil in disguise. Don't fall for it. The Roman Catholics created this image. It wasn't the Christians that created this image. Go in a Christian church, see if you see this image anywhere. You won't see it. It's all part of the agenda. This isn't God. This is the devil. This is the devil. Again, always throwing that hand sign up. Again, the, the Antichrist will come with peace, love, and all that. This is what they promote the Messiah as. Oh, the Messiah is going to love everyone when he returns. No, he isn't. He's going to kill his enemies. But this is what they promote. They promote Jesus like this. This is an abomination image. It's a joke. They promote Jesus like some feminine person. He, he didn't. It clearly says in the Bible that Jesus wasn't handsome, that he wouldn't have been someone that was good looking. It clearly says that, so this is not Jesus. This is not an ugly person. It said Jesus was someone that would, they wouldn't look, look at, his, they wouldn't look at him. Because again, if he was good looking, they would have looked to his looks, they wouldn't have li listened to what he was saying, that's why he made himself so he wasn't the most handsome person ever so again this is a fake image it's a pagan image and that's why they have so many images portraying so-called jesus because they don't have a clue what he looks like everyone knows that no it clearly says in the bible nobody can see god and live nobody can see his face and live everyone knows that god is a spirit that's just the fact so again, we continue, it's all part of the agenda. Now we go to the Statue of Liberty, because this is all part of it as well. Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty is a harlot as well. Apollo, because it is Lucifer. You ever wondered why, like, again, this just proves that Americans believe whatever they're told. You ever wondered why they called the so-called moon landing Apollo? Again, Apollo is referred to a fake Greek goddess. Again, this is what it is. This is what you worship. It's a man in damn drag. 
That's what it is. It's not a woman. It ain't a woman. It's the same thing as above, so below. And you always notice with the Greeks, they're always painting men, the painting men naked. It's because it's a fact most of these people were, they swing that way. That's why they were always painting men naked, fully naked. Again, it's the same thing, same garbage. That's all it really is again. This is the ancient Babylonian Ishtar, the sun goddess. And we look at the sun goddess was not a woman, it was a man. So again, this ain't a woman's face, look at her, this is a man's face. And everyone's bought into this and thinking it's a, a woman, it's not a woman, it's a man. It's a man, that's what it is, it's a man in drag. This is the real image. Again, it's not a woman, it's a man. Again, why do you think they promote in movies? Again, Lucifer, the light of illumination, which simulates Lucifer. Again, the pyramid. This would the pyramid simulates the Illuminati. This simulates Lucifer. It's all connected. America is a joke. Again, it's an abomination. This was ancient Babylon. The rays of the sun gods. Again, all connected. Notice the one eye, how the person's blind in one eye. This is what it all goes back to. Again, the name El. Why do you think they, they use the name like Elohim? If you actually look at the word Elohim, it means gods. It's satanic. God's name is not Elohim. Elohim means gods. There was no gods in the beginning of the, the Garden of Eden. The, the, these people know exactly what they're doing. They want you to worship Saturn and the occult. It's all part of the agenda. The planet Saturn, again, like the Statue of Liberty, worshipping the crescent moon islam's part of it as well they're all part of it they all act like they're not but we all know otherwise again now we look at this this is what it was originally like that's a face of a damn man this is a face of a man anybody else think lady liberty looks like a man it does because it is a man it's a man it's a man in drag. That's all it is. This is a man. It is a man, not a woman. Again, from a certain angle, that's clearly a man. It's a man. It's Lucifer. Again. Because again, the image of the Baphomet isn't, uh, isn't the image of the Baphomet both sexes. Male and fe male and female, both sexes. It's the exact same thing with the Statue of Liberty. It's real. It's just a man in drag that castrated himself. That's really all it is. Uh, it, it goes all the way back. The sun, the pagan sun god. Again, we see with the Greeks. Apollyon, Nimrod, Osiris, it's all connected. This is what they did with the ancient Greece. They built this tower, this ancient statue. Notice the flame again, the sun rays, it's all part of it. America is no longer a Christian nation, it's an abomination. It's time people wake up and realize that. Again, Ishtar, I, where do you think they got the name Isis from? America is not Babylon though. No. Isis, Ishtar, Statue of Liberty. And again, it's all connected. All connected, same crap. And this is what it stands for. Current torch of Statue of Liberty, 
original torch of Statue of Liberty. Again, it simulates false light. And this is what I said. This is a man here. This is what it was about. Liberty is a... I'm not going to say the word because it's close. Hate speech. So again, was a god of sun and vegetation born of a virgin. He bled to death after castrating himself but was brought back to life by his lover. So again, you see in the agenda, his resurrection was celebrated each spring by the Romans beginning again, so again portraying himself as a messiah. So he was a man that dressed up in drag and then castrated himself. That's all it is. You can see the connection. It's not a woman. It ain't a woman. Look at the face. That ain't no face of a woman. That's the face of an ugly man. A very ugly one. That ain't no woman. That's no woman that. That ain't no woman. Everyone's bought into it thinking that this is a woman. It isn't a woman. It's a man. It's a man in drag. So every time everybody sit, every day someone basically celebrates the Independence Day, really you're just worshipping Lucifer. That's all it is. Independence Day is worship the devil. It's all, it's all part of it. It's the same crap over and over again. Again. Statue of Liberty stamped from Vegas, not New York City. So again. That one looks more female. Well, this one is male. There's no doubt about that. It's clearly male. It's a man. It's a man, that's what it is, it's a man. Lady Liberty, or oh, it's wins. Again, it's not a woman. It's a lie. It's the, so it's no wonder why they promote that agenda so much. They promote it, trying to turn, turn again, promoting both agendas. We know why. Nobody went to the moon, it's all garbage. It's all part of the agenda as well. No one's been to the moon. It's all crap. It's fake. No one has ever landed on the moon. The moon isn't a planet. The moon's a light. As it says in the Bible, that the one light shall rule the day. One light shall rule the night. It's not a, it's not a planet. It's not a planet. As I said last time, many times, how can, how can a rock change color? A rock can't change colour. Try get a lot a rock from out in public. It can't change colour. It's impossible. But people still believe in this garbage. That all the the asteroids exist. Asteroids don't exist because space doesn't exist. There's, it's all to keep people in fear. That's what it is. You you get people to believe in asteroids believe it then you get them to believe in evolution and the big bang there's no such thing as space there's no such thing as gravity there's no such thing as planets there's no such thing as asteroid belts it's all fake and a lie this is what it is he all he really done was castrate himself that's what it was and then he became funny he was a woman when they say, in God we trust, what God do they mean? The devil. As it's being pointed out, Apollo seems to be what we use to greet the world here in the US. Largest idol in the world. So again, in the devil we trust, more like. Again, when 9-11 happened, who was sitting there? Who was sitting there? This was a war. 9-11 was really a warning to America. If you don't get right with God, this is what's going to happen again. Well, we know the government did that anyway. We know it anyway. These people have got an agenda to take America out from the inside out. Wasn't the American people that put this statue up? It was a bunch of Freemasons. 
again, and they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue have his name Apollyon, the sun god Apollo. Take away the Y and this replace now Apollo. Statue of Liberty face is a man. It's a man, that's what it is. This is who built it, a Freemason. Freemasons built this statue. So again, Luciferianism, it's all part of the agenda. Sumerians, Nimrod, it's all part of the agenda. Mother of God, again, Queen of Heaven, it's all garbage, it's all paganism. We don't know what Mary looked like, we really don't. We see how it's all connected. It is all connected, so it's no surprise now. I mean, they've been doing it from day one, so it shouldn't be a shock at all that they're now doing, basically, oh, it's no shock that they're doing things like, like this. They're doing things like this, it's not a shock at all. It's not a shock. They start saying, Hail Satan, Hail Satan. Yeah, let's see you say that, say that when you're burning in like a fire. Let's see you say that then. You'll realize what you've done then, the biggest mistake that you've ever done. Is anyone that sides with the devil is, is going to receive the six, seven plagues. So again, you take the mark of the beast, you're going to receive seven plagues, and after that, you're also going to be thrown in the lake of fire. So again, God, God don't play games. He ain't playing games with you. You choose to serve the devil, God's got no choice but to send you to the lake of fire. So again, we got statues all over the world. We got one in Oklahoma. We got one in Detroit. Now we got one in another state. They're all over America. They're admitting. Again, Temple. Again, Royal Academy. It's a joke. It's an absolute joke, and these people are like, oh, this is great, this is great, this is great, I'm a Satanist. Satanic, uh, these Oklahoma claim the Statue of Liberty to protest immigration policy. Again, this is a load of garbage. They love to work in numbers, 88, again, they love to work in numbers. It's what they do. It's what they do about it. Again, that immigration nonsense. Again, the people high up in the Illuminati are the biggest racist ever, and they want to divide and conquer people. That's what they do it for. It's divide and conquer. While the two races are fighting one another off, the Illuminati are sitting back and laughing at you. Again, they've got the symbols all over the world. Sun worship. It's all over the place in America. And they, they have the cheek to still say they're a Christian nation. Not a Christian nation at all. It's a joke. Again. Thou shalt not mess with wimp. It, it doesn't even say that. This Again, see how they're trying to rewrite the Bible. Uh, for li Olympians, it, does, it doesn't say that in the Bible. It doesn't say it. They're trying to rewrite the Bible. Again, as it says, anyone that re tries to write to this word, let them be accursed, and they shall receive the plagues. So again, rewriting the Bible it is not a good thing to do, because one, you'll receive the same plagues. Again, put in this, forth comes many symbols. Again, Unity of faith, the one world religion garbage, the so-called tree of life, the sun worship, the moon, they're all connected. All these religions are connected. This is why you need to start following religion. As it says, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. Come out of the system, 
come out the world, only follow the Bible, don't follow your own opinion, follow the Bible and come out this world. Again, because it says in the Bible, if you're a friend of this world, you're an enemy of God. So it's not a shock at all. It didn't shock me one single bit at all. It didn't shock me one bit. It's not a surprise. It's not what a surprise at all. When you have things like this, nightclubs, now Archangel battles the devil. Again, upside down, down cross, garbage like this, all seen guy, events, the skull and bones, the devil. It shouldn't be a shock. It should not be a shock to you that this crap's going on. It's all part of the end times. Again, basically the evil, the wicked shall be increased more wickedly. It's all part of the agenda. Again, so anyone that denies like atheists and that says, oh, Satanism doesn't exist. These people, Americans, don't worship Lucifer. I've had many people say that to me. Oh, you're, you're an idiot. You are. You're an idiot. The Americans don't look, worship Lucifer. There's no, there's no such thing as the Illuminati. The reality is your, your eyes have been blinded by God. You've been given over to a reprobate mind. Again, as it says in the Bible, some are, some are chosen from, from the beginning before the world was even made. So again, God has chose you before the world even began. So God has chose people to be deceived. So again, this is why these people deny God, because they've been deceived. As it says, my children hear my voice. So again, this is blasphemy. They're promoting Jesus Christ burning in the lake of fire. Again, this is how evil these people really are. Again, the rise of the Antichrist. Uh, again, this has got this one's got to be photoshopped because again, we've got this. Well, I don't really know. They probably start it. Yeah, this has got to be. Yeah, this is false shot because you can see there's two of them there. The, the, this one's fake. Ignore that one. That's the real one. You see it? This is a blasphemy. So they're saying, oh, Jesus is going to be burning in hell. How blasphemous. No, it's going to be the other way round. Satan's going to be there. It's all part of the. Again, more garbage. The one eye God, one eye symbolism. Jesus promised the end of all wicked people. Promised the end of all ice giants. I don't see many ice giants around. Exactly. Again, Obama is an antichrist as well. Think this was done by accident. Nope. These people serve the devil. The, the Roman Catholics serve the devil. They all do it. Again, it's all part of the agenda. Satanism is going to be made, again, it's already made legal. It's being made public. And again, the letters, letters to Satan. Again. So again, uh, Commission has cleared the way for the extortion of another Ten Commandment mon monument. So again, they smashed, obviously smashed the real Ten Commandments down, which is blasphemy. These people can get what's coming to them. I think it's smashed the Ten Commandments down. It's, it's going to not come back on you. You see what they're doing. These be this is what annoys me. People in America are so ignorant. Oh, Oh, there's no such thing as a new world order. There's no such thing as a, the Illuminati. There's no such thing. Again, you must be clearly blind. You must be really, really blind and ignorant. Look around you. Satanism's being promoted. Pedophilia's being promoted. Wake up. Man says told, Satan told him to drive into the Ten Commandments. Yeah wonder why. So again, the real Ten Commandments that were put in Oklahoma got smashed down by some some Satanist that's going to get what's coming to them. 
Again, made in America. This is America. This is America. This is what it is. Welcome to America. This is what they should really promote. Welcome to America, because this is what it is. No such thing as free speech, so lies, fake, garbage. This is the real America that we that you live in. It's all garbage. Again, the free year old satanic temple organization wants a nine foot st statue of the goat headed idol Baphomet placed on the Iraq Kinas capital ground to counter God's commands. So again, how blasphemous is this? Again, so smash the Ten Commandments down. Smash it down. Do, do you know, God ain't very happy about that. God is writing these things down. This person that did this is not going to go unpunished. Because again, smashing the Ten Commandments is basically like blaspheming against God or blaspheming against the Holy Spirit. It's unforgivable. Again, so these were the real commandments, but of course, there was obviously a gen agenda behind this. Look at a Illuminati pyramid. Obviously, agenda was all part of the agenda. Don't buy into it. Don't buy into it. Do not buy into it. The Ill Illuminati right there. Again. So it shouldn't be a shock to you that these things are happening. It should be a shock at all. It's all planned. There will probably be many more of these. Many more of these statues in the future. Well, so it's not a surprise. They expect more of these statues to happen. As Satanism rises in America.